good morning. Some things that they don't tell you about. Breastfeeding actually get us off to a good start in the morning. Look. 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 And it goes a little something like this. Probably the only time that they don't fight each other. So we are on our way to school. I usually let them nurse first um, before I get them dressed in the morning. The difference between a girl and a boy. The boy is a boy. And the girl just chill. I'm telling you, this is the most common nursing session. The morning session. Like they're they are not usually like this. No, no, no. You done? Mm -mm. So I'm gonna sit back and relax. Did y'all have a good night's sleep? Mm -hmm. mm. Keyshawn, you did really good. I think Keyshawn woke up maybe twice. He usually wake up like a newborn like six times. But last night, I think he woke up maybe twice or maybe once. I don't know, Keyshawn. You did really good. I can't even remember. I'm so proud of you, boy. boy. You like the bubbles? Huh? You like the bubbles? Mm -hmm. I want bubbles. You don't want bubbles? I want bubbles. You want bubbles? And it's usually a longer nursing session in the morning than what it is in the afternoon. Usually in the afternoon, it's like one, anywhere from 30 seconds to one minute, sometimes two minutes with Keyshawn. It's usually really short when they get older. It's really, really short. Just enjoying it. She's still asleep. This is really relaxing for me as well. Yeah, sister. Don't pull it off her shirt. This is really relaxing for me too. A lot of times we don't understand but breastfeeding actually help release the stress hormone and that's oxytocin so in the morning with me nursing them it kind of helps me calm down allows them to get off to a good start so don't let nobody tell you like oh breastfeeding is this and breastfeeding is, is that when they don't tell you the good things about breastfeeding so yes, when I do this, sometimes we don't have enough time in the morning to actually do this. And I find myself more like worked up and not as, you know, organized or calm as I can be. But when we have, I notice when we do have our nursing sessions in the morning, I'm more focused. I'm not too, you know, all over the place. I'm kind of more in tune with myself like I don't know how to put it but I'm more I don't know calm relax because this actually helps me it does so don't let nobody tell you like oh breastfeeding is this and that and the third and don't tell you the good things because this definitely helps my day go smoothly and look just looking at them look at this look at this look at this bun 
bun? You like it? I love bubble because they taste like smoothies, but sometimes I don't get it because it hurts. <laughs> sometimes I do like tell Nyla no sometimes. When they get older, mommies, you are the person that controls the feeding. When they're babies, when they're infants, the baby, because the baby is solely dependent on you, an infant. It's solely dependent on you. When they can tell you, no, stop, hey, mommy, what you doing, all this, then, mommy, you are in control. So when Nyla say, my mommy don't let me get it. My mommy don't let me get it. Um, if I'm doing something or if I'm not in the mood to nurse, I would tell Nyla no. Keyshawn as well. I would tell him no. Not right now. Come back later. Come back later. And when, then she'll change her mind and then we won't get bubbles. Well, <laughs> sometimes I do that. But she okay with it. She know like if. But if something is going on with Nyla, like if I notice that Nyla is getting like a cold or anything, or if I see, you know, around allergy season, if I see anything that's going on with Nyla, I will let Nyla nurse often. And she really enjoys that. Like she, I would let her nurse every two mm -hmm. to three hours to help flush that. So if, if nothing is wrong with Nyla, not saying that Nyla's not getting any benefits from me, but um, I don't let Nyla come as often because Nyla would take advantage. Like, Nyla would come every 30 minutes if I let her. She really would. Right, Nyla? Mm -mm. Huh? Mm -mm. You won't? Well, how often mm. would you come? I come like five times a day. Five times a day? Okay, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. Five times a day. Okay. Well, we can work on that. <laughs> so, y'all, thanks for tuning in to this video. This is actually a morning nursing session with the breastfeeding librarian and my breastfed babies. I'm going to go ahead. I'm not a baby. You're not a baby, but you my baby. I'm going to go ahead. And I'm seven. Okay. You're six. I'm going to go ahead and get them dressed. And get them ready for school. And guess what? They already have their antibodies. So coronavirus, stay away. Cold, stay away. Anything, stay away. Because guess what, my babies? They're getting protected. Yeah, they may look big to you. But I always say, every mother, your journey is your own journey. If you want to breastfeed your kids to their 40 years old now. Because, say, because if, if you get a cold like my daddy, because he's sick, and all he had to take over is my mommy and Bobo. Right. So don't let nobody tell you that the benefits uh, of breast milk end, because it's don't. It don't. It's endless. Breast milk benefits never end. And I have experienced that in my last seven years of nursing that breast milk has helped my whole family from my sisters to my nieces to my niece dog other babies so don't let nobody tell you that oh they too big or it's too long and you need to stop if they if they're not educated about breastfeeding and Self weaning. Tell them to come to the breastfeeding library. I can help them. I'm gonna bite this girl. It, she talking too much. I'm talking too much. Okay, we're gonna end this video. Uh, no, don't. I'm just kidding. Okay. We're gonna end this video. Now I said I'm talking too much. No, I'm just but kidding. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh -huh. At the breastfeeding library. Say bye y'all. Bye bye. Bye y'all. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Yeah. Yay.